In this video, I'm gonna program my own key here for the Toyota Smart Key on a 2012 Prius, and I am not a locksmith. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, welcome back to Random Fix. And yes, I am not a locksmith, and I have never programmed a key before. And if you've ever purchased a used vehicle, you know what it's like to only get one key. And it can be a little bit of a scary experience and for good reason as some of these Japanese vehicles always require one working key. If you lose that one working key, you sometimes have to take the computer out of the vehicle, drop it off at the dealership, which will then send it to Japan. And this whole process can cost you $2,000. And ask me how I know, because I've actually gone through this on a Lexus and the experience costs us $1,500. And if you're a regular retail consumer, not only is it more expensive, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. So I'm kind of excited to go and try this out as I got myself a replacement key that's non-Toyota. And it was under $42 or $43 delivered. So if I can go ahead and save myself some money, I will. And I did try to go and give the business to a locksmith and the dealership, but they wanted over $400 per key. So I'm gonna go ahead and program my own key here on the Prius with the help of this scan tool here from Autofix. This is the D1 Lite. And I'll leave you guys a link down below. This is under $400. And my whole goal for making this video is to show you guys that you can actually pay for a scan tool like this the very first time you use it because of the amount of money you'll save. So instead of having to get my hands dirty and getting underneath the vehicle to go change my own oil to save a little bit of money, I can program this key, pay for this scan tool, and even pay for the key. And I could be a neighborhood hero by helping all my neighbors with similar issues and maybe make a few friends in the process. So this is the scan tool here. It's got a nice wireless Bluetooth interface and it comes with two years of included updates. So let's go back into how you can go and find the right key fob for your vehicle. To do this, you need to go and open up your key. Unless you have a part number out here, which sometimes is possible, go ahead and take a picture of it and zoom in and see if you can get the model number. If you're not able to do it that way, you can go ahead and take a picture of the board. And on the board, it has some numbers and the number should be right down here. And go and zoom in type those into google and it will give you some stores that you can purchase this key at and i'm going to go and try this out in the car now so let's head over to the vehicle and plug this in i do got to let you guys know that i did try to go and program a key on a ford mustang about seven years ago and i was not successful so wish me luck guys as i just turned 44 and i think with age comes wisdom and I'm hoping that's true. So let's see if this works. These tools plug in to your vehicle through this port and they just slide into place. Once it slides into place, you'll normally get a message here that the unit is connected. And to go and start this process, you wanna turn on the ignition. So you should notice that the check engine light is on. The engine should not be running. The scan tool has detected the vehicle and decoded the VIN. And before you proceed with the service, you wanna make sure that all the updates are done. So I am gonna verify that there's no updates for Toyota here. And to give you guys a better view, I did remember that the D1 has a screen recorder. So I'm gonna launch the screen recorder now. With the screen recorder running, I'm gonna go through here and select service. And right here, we have the immobilizer. I'm gonna select the immobilizer and I'm gonna to touch this little button right at the top, the blue one, and just have it decode the VIN. This is a Toyota. And here's gonna be the menu for the immobilizer keys. And one thing I did wanna point out is that the voltage for the battery is displayed on the right-hand side. So do keep an eye on that. Make sure that your voltage does not drop below 11.5 and if it does you may need to put it on a battery tender let's go to smart code registration classic we're going to select next i'm going to select the top option currently there are two keys that are registered and five that can be registered and i have one of the working keys the other one is lost i touch the key 
with the registered key and now I'm touching the key button with the new one let's see what happened I might have done that twice all right guys I got good news this one is working this is the old one let's see if it actually starts the vehicle I made a mistake of actually touching this twice during the process right here and you need to only do it once that's why we got that message let me go and take the real key out of the car which is this Toyota one and see if this works because I am super excited about this so I'm leaving this here on the bench now we're back inside the vehicle and check it out guys this is working I'm actually driving the vehicle and that is awesome guys I just saved four hundred dollars and honestly that was less than 10 minutes worth of work even though I was recording this video so I'm super stoked that I have a second key here and I didn't have to go through the dealership or the locksmith I'm going to jump in the vehicle and show you guys that this key registered on the display so now we should have three keys and every function on the car works so the keyless system is just like before four keys remaining three that are currently registered so i got two working keys now and the one key is still lost i love it when a tool gives you confidence this auto fix unit so far has not disappointed so i'm happy to report that everything is working as designed this works the old remote works and i know this still needs to be cut and i can use the old key here and walk into a locksmith and actually negotiate a fair deal now and there's some applications out there that allow you to take a picture and they'll send you a cut key those are about fifty dollars and you can utilize those if you like i like the idea of just having another working key and i know if my car's battery dies completely i may not be able to get in with this particular key however I can go through and make some adjustments on the vehicle, run a secret wire in case I run into that, in case I don't want to even deal with this, I can do that. And one thing that has really surprised me about making this video is the amount of clear instructions that this Autofix D1 Lite supplied me because remember this unit is powered by Autel. So you are going to get the Autel support, which you normally have to pay a lot of money for. And my whole goal for making this video was to show you you can pay for a scan tool like this on the very first use and that's what we actually did i made a duplicate smart key here for my toyota and it paid for the unit so i saved four hundred dollars i didn't have to go visit any dealerships provide evidence of ownership and i got to share this experience with you guys so i've really enjoyed making this video i'll leave you guys some links in the video description box down below as well as at the end of the video that you might find helpful and if you have any questions about this process or the autofix d1 light please comment down below i'll be sure to get back to you and i'll leave you guys that video so you guys can check this out in depth and i'm thrilled to have a second working key some afterthoughts i didn't know that this was going to be so easy here on the toyota so i actually purchased a key here for my dodge as well so in case this didn't work i could go and do it on this dodge as these toyota keys that are non oem are very complicated however this just showed that it does work and that you can't save that money if you want to see me go and program the dodge key as well please comment down below if you want me to make you a video thank you again